Hello everyone, just figured I'd do a quick little tutorial on how to do some um, cool little image manipulation and, and glitch shard data moshing-ish sort of effects of Audacity. So um, basically th this method works with uh, tip files, um, different image file formats will have different effects um, because it, the information is actually stored differently within those um, data files. So um, from the little of this that I've done, I found that um, you want to stay away from compressed file formats such as JPEGs um, and other compressed formats and you want to kind of stay to the uncompressed formats. Um, I've had trouble with uh, CR2s and RAWs and certain types of um, compressed formats, and I found that TIFFs ten, tended to be kind of the most fruitful. I've also found that the higher the resolution of the picture is, the better it is. So here's a little sort of like mugshot of myself that I have here. And then, um, oops, um, as you can see, it's a very large image. It's like 54 megabytes. Um, it's also very high resolution as well. I believe it's uh, like 18 megapixels or something like that. So basically, we're going to open Audacity, and then we're going to go to import, and then actually import raw data. Now, this allows us to import any sort of file into Audacity and play it back as audio. Um, so we're going to import our mugshot here into Audacity. And then the default settings work pretty darn well, with one exception is we do have to change the encoding to ULaw. Um, a law will work as well, but I've just been working with U law, and that basically just tells Audacity um, that this is not conforming to kind of these other sort of like compressed formats or other ways to encode the information, and allows it to just straight up load the bits and bytes as they are in the file without any sort of wrapping or anything like that. If you choose any of the other options, you run into issues. Um, so here's our image. Um, it ends up being 10 seconds here. Now if I play it back, it's going to be very abrupt, it's going to be really noisy and offensive, and yeah, really not that interesting. So, um, basically with TIFFs, the only thing that we have to worry about is there's a header portion within the file. Now the header is at the very beginning of the file, um, and it actually contains um, all the information that tells your operating system, like, hey, this is a TIFF. This is this big. It has this resolution. I'm packing the bytes in this sort of order. And it has all that information in it. And, then, and as if we zoom in, and this is about the first, God, uh, yeah, like one second or so of the track. And of course, we say second because Audacity thinks of everything as an audio file. Um, whether or not it actually is. But um, so anyway, so we select this this header portion and you can see that the data is kind of packed differently. There's a different DC bias, it's underneath um, the, the middle line here, then it goes really noisy and then it enters into this pattern here. And this pattern goes on for quite a while and then it slowly changes. Now this, this pattern right here is the actual um, start of the image data, the pixel data itself. Um, the front beginning right here is the header. Now we need to make sure that everything we do does not affect this header because if we change any of the bytes or any of the bits within the header, we actually are changing um, the way that your computer communicates with the file, what, what tells your computer this is an image, this is something I can load, and if you mess with that then it won't recognize the tip anymore as an image and you won't be able to look at it in, in any sort of image viewer or do anything like that. So we need to make sure that we do not manipulate that. Now we can kind of be a little bit clumsy as far as the amount that we cut into the actual image data. As you can see the file is quite large. Now, at the beginning here that's mostly just kind of like the gray background of the wall behind me so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, so I can kind of zoom in, kind of grab it at like one second or so, and then grab the rest of the track here. Um, and then now that I have all the rest of the track selected, when I apply effects, it will only be applied to that portion of um, the data. So I go to effect, and um, um, we use like Vocoder. That's one of my personal favorites here. 
So you can use pretty much any effect. Most of the effects will make a difference. I have a little uh, blog post on my website that kind of goes through all the different effects that are uh, presented in Audacity and tells you kind of generally what to expect from them um, using this this image as a basis. So you can check that if you check that out if you want. Um, um, otherwise, you know, it's just kind of go in there and start messing with the settings and kind of have fun and um, you know experiment and just keep in mind that you know. Audacity is viewing it as audio data and it's going to manipulate it accordingly. So you're going to, so it's not like you're going to get, you know, really traditional kind of image editing effects from this. It'll be more glitchy, it'll be distorted, it'll be fucked up. Um, but I've also found that um, you, you need to kind of remember that Audacity is basically playing this back as noise. And it's not melodic, it's not harmonics, it's not very rhythmic generally. It does have a little bit of rhythm to it, but generally not too much. Here we're gonna pick these vocoder settings. Let's hit OK. Bam. Um, when you're working with these high resolution TIFFs, it does take quite a while for Audacity to actually go through the process of um, you know, um, exporting the file. So we'll come back once this is done. Alrighty, so um, our vocoder finished up. As you can see, the waveform is very, very different than it was before. Um, tamed it up a lot more. Actually, looks a lot more like audio. And you can see that we still have, um, you know, our precious um, header information at the beginning here, as well as the very beginning of the image pixel information that we did not um, apply the effects to. Cool. So um, now you can kind of go on and apply multiple effects and keep on messing with it and manipulating it. But uh, we're just going to keep it simple here and export it. So ironically enough, we go to export audio. Um, save it as whatever you want to save it as. I'll save it as mug, sh oops. mug um, shot vocoder. And then um, save that to my desktop here. Fantastic. Now the very last thing is under format here. Um, when you're a machine, it may be something else, maybe set to like WAVE or AIF or something. We do have to change it to other uh, uncompressed files. And this again, basically when we were loading it in and telling it to do U-Laws, is telling the program, hey, um, we're not going to try to wrap this up in a WAVE shell. We're not going to try to wrap it up to play back as an MP3 or M4A or any of these sort of other formats. Uh, it's going to be a different type of uncompressed file. Now this is generic and we actually have to go into the options to specify um, what type of file it is. So we do have to change the header here, um, change that to raw headerless. Um, this is basically telling it, hey, don't put a header on this file. We already have a header. Um, just do the raw data as it is, export that. Um, and then for encoding here, we do have to go to uh, the same type of um, encoding that we used at the beginning. So that in this case is ULaw. If you use ALaw, you can do ALaw as well. And then, um, okay. And then we'll save this to our desktop. And um, click OK to that. Let it export. Alrighty. And then uh, the very last thing you can see in the preview that we have some really funky kind of psychedelic stuff. You can still see that my silhouette is still there. But um, we have to go and change this extension at the end, which it gives it raw by default. You can do this in your file name in Audacity when you save it. You can put a .tiff at the end. Or you can do it afterwards like this. But you just change that extension to .tiff. Um, Mac is going to complain and make sure that's what I want to do. I tell it yes, that's what I want to do. And then we're done. We have our processed image with a vocoder effect applied to it. Now the fantastic thing about using these high resolution um, TIFFs is we can really kind of zoom in here in the pixels and really kind of, yeah, see all the cool stuff that's going on. Oops. Oh my gosh. I'm not very good at navigating around preview. Okay, there we go. Let's see, you can see my face and all this kind of distortion and my hair, all that mess. We get some really cool effects. Alrighty. 
just see um, starting image and then the ending image. All right, cool. I hope you enjoyed, and um, yeah, start using Audacity to make awesome glitch art.